this video was supposed to be demonstrating how I hang the handle on the head or hang the head on the handle however that verb works um, unfortunately the whole process of taking footage and turning it into a viable video experience defeated me. There's a bunch of new, new things I did on this handle that I'm really excited about. Um, I burned in a rule on the left side of the axe starting at the 24 inch rule. So if this is zero, one foot, two foot, right? So then six inches, eight inches, 16, 18. Um, and that's, I've seen people burn in rules that have, you know, basically a ruler with inch marks, but I figure these little marks are completely adequate for the measurements I need to take chopping firewood, you know? And uh, that was an educational experience. I used the head of a cut nail that I heated in my new forge. Which was a little bit overkill. The thing was red hot and you know you just touch it for an instant and it actually makes kind of a very visible divot. I think you can see that. Um, so there's a trick to the wood burning but after you know scraping it down with some steel wool it uh still okay and then the other really fun thing was i tried to put on a rawhide handle guard and i do have the footage from installing that This is recording, you know. I'm sorry. So it's, you can see, it's liquidizing. I was talking with, well, emailing with Stephen Edholm about doing rawhide, because rawhide dries, it's a really tough, and it dries really hard, but really thin, so it's not that... So that's just totally um, liquidized. liquidized. So what I think I want to do is, um, this is totally experimental. And he didn't think, I asked him about squirrel, using the squirrel hide, and he thought it was too thin. But I was like, it's perfect. What I did was I took, I cut off like the, the leg portions of the hide and just kept the body portion and as a tube and I'm gonna try and just slip it onto the axe head right here but I want to glue it on with this hide glue which I made with the scraps of the rest of the hide so which is like totally fun and new process for me. Well, like so this is the body of the squirrel and uh, like this is the back and the belly. So the back seems to be the thickest, if you look. So I want to put that right on the front of the handle. Unfortunately, this is where I shot him, and there's an exit. I think that's the exit wound, actually. Uh, so that's kind of in, in this sort of ready location I guess and then
just smear this on. This is hide glue of the squirrel gluing its own hide onto the axe head. This seems a little really get a thumbtack into this hickory. This is the best procedure or not. But it's this is all experimental. I mean, it might be worth lacing right there, but I think you can just maybe sand that off. That just popped right out. Goofball process, isn't it? Why don't you just saw a thread through it? Yeah, maybe. Not really a sewer. We got dental floss. That'll do it. This is not. I think. Bushcraft approved. did poke through pretty easily of course I wasn't planning on doing this so I didn't research how to sew rawhide I'm sure dental floss and an overhand knot is not the proper technique This was cow rawhide. I don't think you could do this. You know, it would be too thick. This stuff is just kind of rubbery. But it's really wet. I mean, it's never, this is not reconstituted rawhide. I had it in the buck with the deer hide. So it never, you know what, that, I think that thumbtack isn't doing anything. So that looks kind of cool, I think. And I think I'm going to just trim 
away from the lugs. Although it's gonna shrink. And I, I think the glue was very gelatinous when I uh, I had it set up and everything. I didn't dry it down, but um, it was very gelled. But that hide, if you saw it, was all was wet. It would. I mean, it had never. This is not a dry hide. It was soaked basically. So I don't know if maybe you would want to like wring the hide out cuz like I think the hide has added a lot of water to the glue. But I'm just going to stick it right underneath the wood stove. I'm just going to go over all the edges with the hide glue again. Stick that under the wood stove and see what happens. And here is the raw hide. Uh, the next morning, I just left it right under the wood stove overnight as the stove cooled down and it has dried down hard. And I learned a lot putting this on. I thought, you know, a squirrel, it's already a tube. Just cut the arms and the legs off and just slide the tube on and that'll be your handle guard. But Stephen, when I mentioned it to Stephen, he was like, I think squirrel's too thin. And he's probably right because when I was feathering off this edge to sort of, you know, make this transition really smooth, I actually, you can sort of see where I actually sanded this the rawhide completely away in a few places which was not the way it was supposed to go so squirrel in fact may be too thin but I don't usually put a guard on because I think the leather wraps and the paracord wraps are just abominations so I'm perfectly comfortable if this doesn't work still continuing to use the axe and the nice thing is, is I made the hide glue out of the rest of the skin and attach this rawhide with hide glue from the hide and so if I want to just take it off all I have to do is soak this area and then maybe heat it up with a heat gun and it'll peel right off I mean the beauty of hide glue is it's reversible right so I can always replace this with thicker rawhide if I need to and if this works I think I'm gonna start applying you know rawhide of some type to all of my handles because this was a really fun and neat process and it makes just it shrinks it's like nature shrink wrap almost it just sucks right down and it becomes rock hard it's it's just a really neat material and perfect for this application I think so that was fun so the only thing left to do on this head and I'm not gonna show it um, is honing the edge and then we will go to testing this axe out in the woods in part three so I'm very happy with this hang I'm very happy with the way this head turned out I think this is gonna be an awesome axe and the only regret I have is well I have a couple of regrets I regret that I shot the squirrel in the body so that there's a bullet hole in my handle guard I regret that I sanded through this handle guard in this area um, I regret that I heated my nail up so hot to make these little divots, but you know what? Those are all just little quibbles, you know? This axe hang turned out awesome. It is a beautiful handle. This is going to be a sweet, sweet user. I'm excited to put her in the woods. So, um, yeah, the other thing is I always say, um, it's driving me nuts. I never noticed how much I say um until I started listening to myself on YouTube. It is maddening. 